If I were a school principal by Manali Fiske 8 Being kids we all at least once in our childhood have fantasized about becoming a school principal Somewhere in the corner of our mind we have a collection of thoughts about what we would do if we were the authority for at least one day If I was asked the same question that what would I do if I were a school principal I too would pull out my never ending list I would try to be a friendly principal who every student would like I would try to give more games lectures to them and would myself play with them I would watch movies with the students during free lectures and would have lunch with them during recess I cannot ignore the bitter reality that none of this is practically feasible but how I wish it was but one of the things on the list that I could tick off is having writing sessions at least once a week with the students personally I love writing and if i had the liberty and authority i would love to instill this passion in my students i would have started a small writing club where the students spend their free time and we could all together write so many poems articles essays and stories i definitely think that when i would dive into the ocean of thoughts in their young minds i would forget that i'm a principal and would become a kid with them we would all weave our thoughts and stitch a story out of it at the end of the year We would publish the stories in the school magazine. I can clearly visualize myself holding that book in my hands along with all my students' name on the first page in the author's section. I can imagine all those beaming smiles, faces beaming with pride when I would read the stories to them. How I wish my fantasy could come true. Where's my shoe? By Bushra Qureshi, class 8. It's already 4 p.m. I have to be there before 5 p.m. Where's my shoe? I yelled all around my house. I checked everywhere. Shoe rack, under my bed, in the balcony, everywhere I could reach, even in the wardrobe. Where is it? I was in a hurry. It was the pair of shoes which had caught my attention the moment I entered the shoe mall. They were the best ones I could have imagined. I took a break and thought about the previous day and the places I had been to. Mall? No, I returned with it. Garden? Yes, they might be in the garden. I took my cycle and rode it fast towards the garden. I checked everywhere, under the slide, inside the bushes, literally everywhere, but returned home with only one shoe. What? It's already 4:45 p.m.? I was now extremely stressed. I was specially invited by my friend, but my outfit was incomplete without my shoes. I ran everywhere in my house to search for that shoe. I thought I would wear another one, but realized that it was too old. I was now really late for the party. It was just then I got a call from my friend. "Hey Bushra, where are you?" I wanted to tell you that my dog Cookie brought one of your new shoes that you showed me yesterday. "I am sorry, the sole of the shoe is all damaged. I promise I will get you another pair similar to this one." And that's where my shoe was. I am Runali Huli from class 9. I have written two poems, Why and Friends. Why? Sometimes judging of people pricks my brain. Some of their questions forever retain. Why do I have to look pretty for them? Why do I have to remain a pink gem in their diadem? Why do I have to improve my walk? Why do I have limitations on my talk? Why should I stop myself to express? Why should I make myself perfect to impress? Why should I eat the way they want? Why shouldn't with friends I go for a jaunt? Why should I remain aloof from entertainment and fun? Why shouldn't I celebrate the success I won? Why do I sit as per they say? And why do I have to strive to be their clay? Rather, I should avoid listening to this bam and accept and be glad for me as I am.